Hey friends, welcome back. Today I have some pretty bad news. My little pet hamster, Curry, that I mentioned in one of my previous videos, has passed away. This happened early this morning, and it's it's been very tough. I, uh, for the past couple of weeks, I've been preparing my heart because she's been growing old. She has been walking very slowly, getting skinnier, losing hair, not eating as much, and just showing all these signs of old age. And today, she finally collapsed. She just curled up, did not move. And that was it. I thought I was prepared, but uh, still cried. My girlfriend cried. We found a nice container for her, uh, we decorated it, left her a nice message and we found a very uh, safe spot and we buried her. So wanted to give you guys an update on that. That's uh, what's been on my mind. So as tough as it is, <clears throat> I definitely cherish all of the memories that we've had with our little pet. For those of you that don't know, we adopted our little pet hamster. She was found in an elevator when my girlfriend was going to work. And then we tried to send her to the lost and found when no one claimed her. We decided we would keep her as our own. She became family. Now she's gone. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is not s supposed to be a sad video. I am definitely feeling much better. Had a lot to process today. Pets come and go. Uh, family, people, everything will eventually come to an end at some point. And that's okay, right? I wanted to send a more positive message. Just grateful that we even had the opportunity to spend time with her. Those memories are forever there. So in life, it's always important to cherish every moment, live in the now, because we don't know how long we have. Same with myself. I don't know how long I have to live because, frankly, my family, the age that people have passed away is not very high. My father passed away at 55, my grandfather passed away at 55, my aunt passed away at 55. And Jamie hates it when I say this because I don't want to like bring it into fruition by like law of attraction or anything. So knock on wood, I am planning to live to 120. But I am just bringing this up to say that we don't know how long we have to live. So it's always, always important to cherish now and live the life that you won't regret. Yeah, so saying goodbye to Curry today, that was just another reminder to cheers all the loved ones around. Call family, call people you care about, just let them know you love them and appreciate them. And once people, things, pets, whatever it is are gone, at least their memories will always stay with you. Yep. So that's the update for today. How are you guys? I love it when I hear how your day's been. Drop a like, let me know you're here. I'll leave a comment, let me know what's been going on. Thank you guys so much for the ones that have sent your condolences. Just. Uh, because some people have seen on my Instagram or my other channel that Curry has passed. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And we're doing much better. We imagine Curry in the little pet heaven having a blast. She's just having a good time. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for dropping by. I love you guys so much. And have a fantastic evening. You are an amazing person. Remember that. Cherish your life. Cherish who you are. Just be true to yourself and live a life 
that is amazing. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.